Okay, so you ready? Yep. Okay, so I started recording. So the first question, just to verify, I'm, I'm just going to ask you um, if you're an IRL friend or are you an online friend of Lester and me, actually, as well. So can you answer that? Yeah. Well, um, I've known Crush for quite a long time now online, and I've met Dylan about, I'd say, a half year ago. Or a year ago on Discord, True Crush. So both of them are my online friends. Okay, okay. So, do you remember? So I know you said you knew Lester about like half a year ago. So, um, it was yeah. about just to clarify, it was about half a year ago, or would you say it was like maybe a little more, a little less? Uh, a little more, I'd say. Gotcha. Okay. So. Whenever you guys do talk, like you and Lester, and uh, let's start with you and Lester. Like, whenever you guys do talk, and I'm not just saying in a regular voice chat, I'm talking about, like, through Snapchat, through Discord, text. Yeah. Um, how would you say, like, you're, like, what do you guys, without going into any specifics, like, what do you guys usually talk about? Um, do you talk about, like, games? Do you talk about, like, I guess, everyday encounters? Um, you just shooting the shit, I guess, um... What do you guys usually talk about, if you don't mind me asking? Mm. The, f mm, the weird thing about that is, most of the time, if I would send Dylan a, a, a snap or whatever, or a, a text, he would not reply unless it was in, in his benefit. Which I mean with, if I would ask him to like play a game, whatever, he would not reply till two days later. But the other way around, he would like send me something, and I would reply to him immediately, whatever. But if we would talk, it would be probably to play a game or just about like how like how life goes but not like not some deep questions just some some general life stuff okay okay good answer um how would you say he is when you are talking to him like would you say he's a friendly type of dude would you say he's um i guess very vague with how he talks like he gives one word responses or um how would you like I mean, how would you say he talks to you, like, per se? Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Um, how I would describe Dylan is more like he he opens something, but he could, like, if I could ask him a question, he would give an answer completely out of the blue, with like, has nothing to do with what I asked. Which means, like, for example, I ask him, um, I could say that how he's feeling today, whatever, and he would reply with something like, I went to the club. So it's like, he's very, like, unpredictable, I'd say. When you, when you ask him a question, I mean, it doesn't, when you talk to him, it doesn't really feel like he, he pays attention to what you're saying. Pretty much just answers whatever he has to answer and doesn't really care what you're saying. That's how I experienced it. Okay, gotcha. Um, would you say that happens all the time? Or would you say, like, sometimes maybe he opens up, he shows that he's, like, you know, um, very friendly type of guy? Um, like, or is it like that all the time? Or most of the time? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he's, he's a very nice dude. For example, a little while ago when I had him on Snapchat, I was talking to him about, like, uh, about goals and clothing styles and all that. And then he actually showed some interest, but... The, the kind of thing that pissed me off is I, I gave him, like, advice on, on girls and all that. But he um, he made false promises towards me saying, like, he'll improve that. He'll he'll work on himself. He'll do all these things. But he never did it. would, like, kind of made me lose respect for him. But, I mean, yeah. He still, like, he was a nice dude. Don't get me wrong, right? But just a little bit, um, yeah. Sometimes he, he, he said some things that he shouldn't have said. Which make him like, like he's a nice dude, right? But yeah, it's a little bit weird and complicated sometimes to talk to him. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, what you're just describing, I was actually going to go into that later. But since we're on it right now, I guess I could go into it. So when you say that he doesn't really, I guess you're basically saying he doesn't really listen to the advice you give him. Is that correct? Is that what you're saying? Just so we're clear. Yeah, because um, like um, Dylan wanted some advice about goals and, and like going to the club and clothing and all that and I actually like I I like not like sacrifice because it's not like a big deal for me but I actually put my time and effort into like 
sending him what to do and like giving him examples and like of course he doesn't have to take it right but then at least tell me that you're not interested instead of like wasting my time and like i'm, I'm putting energy into him and telling him what to do and giving him motivational tips um and he's like yeah i'll i'll change my my clothing style i'll go less to the club i'll work on myself i'll go work out i'll change my hair i'll cut my beard and when like at the end of the day, he never did it, which is like very disappointing for me since I actually tried and get him to do it. Still, like he's a free person. He, 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 like, he decides what he wants, right? But then again, don't, don't ask me for advice if you're not going to do anything with it. Of course, of course. I'm completely understandable. And I, I, like you said, obviously, he's a grown man. You're a grown man. Um, I mean, we're all still young, you know, but we're considered adults. And we obviously yeah. can't force each other to do stuff. And I mean, you you pretty much answered what I was going to add on, um, like the follow up question. But I was going to ask, like, whenever mm -hmm. you did give him these suggestions, which it, it, when you say you put your time into it, like you do seem pretty genuine. Um, like I would assume definitely that you're giving very genuine responses and you're putting a lot of feeling yeah. into your responses. So when he said, like in your example, when he said that he'll do it, would he just say he'll do it? Or would he say, maybe I'll consider doing it? And then I guess no, he just yeah. said he changed, he would say he changes his mind or whatever. Cause obviously there's nothing wrong with, you know, declining advice that's given to you. Um, in my eyes, at least. Well, that's the fucked up part about it. Like I would send him like a whole paragraph with like a lot of tips that he can do and like shave his beard, work out, um, all those like kind of tips and you would just reply with yeah i'll give it a shot and that's it like dude you know, i i just gave you the whole solution to to like bettering your life and trying to like wake up and be more be more confident and all that and just give some shitty replies and then the day after i ask him like how is it going with like the promises like hmm yeah hmm i don't know and i'm like all right dude do it tomorrow and he's like, like, for example, he'd say, yeah, I do it. Like, I will definitely do it. Yeah, I'll consider it. Like, yes, I will do it. Like, he's he's so, like, sure about it. But then when I ask him, why don't you do it tomorrow? He backs the fuck out. Like, why? Like, if he's so sure about it, um, why not do it tomorrow? He, he keeps on, like, delaying things and pushing them away from him, which, like, make people like me and you lose their patience. Yeah, no, I totally get you. Um, I mean, I here's my point of view. Um, like, I'm not trying to get on this topic too, too much longer. But here's my point of view. Like, if I give you some advice, like I said earlier, if you don't take it, that's whatever. I'm fine with it. But if you say yeah. you're going to go through with it, and if I follow up with you, which I'm assuming you did, um, like, follow up and yeah. be like, hey, so how's it going? And if you give a response like, oh, yeah, um... Yeah, I'll probably do it eventually or some stupid ass answer like that, which it's very similar to what he says to people like you and me. Then if, if he were to just straight up say, look, I didn't do it yet, um, like and give even some kind of excuse, like I'm busy with work or whatever, I just don't have time, then I got you. OK, like I, I get that. But. Whenever you give give like copy and paste answers like oh yeah I'll I'll probably get to that eventually it just it just makes you feel like you're talking to a wall doesn't it like it just it, yeah it feels like disrespectful a little bit almost. to add up a little bit to add up I mean I know it might sound funny because of Dylan but it sounds like he's high twenty four seven pretty much so like when you when you talk to him yeah when you talk to him his replies are like. It doesn't. It doesn't look like he actually thinks of replying. More looks like he has some pre-selected answers to just drag down, and that like makes you lose the um, the interest to talk to him and like give him advice and give him motivational speech. I gotcha. Now I'm. I'm not trying to go. You know, I'm not trying to give my input or anything too much because again, this is your interview, and I want you to have most of the talking. But. Yeah. Just to give you some background, though, on him, and this is true as fuck. I mean, he does smoke a lot of weed. He smokes, I, I'm i pretty sure he smokes at least, like, half a gram. Maybe not half a gram, but maybe, like, a fourth of a gram every day. 
Like, I know damn, like, I know for sure that he smokes at least a couple of bowls a day. So, like, he definitely is high every day. But I can't say for a fact that he's high every time you talk to him, though. But the no, thing yeah. with, the thing that I've seen with him is that, like, even when he's not high, he typically does give similar responses. Because, I mean, just because you're yeah. high doesn't mean, like, you're a completely different person. I mean, for me yesterday, I took, like, half an edible. And I was stoned. And, I, you, you know, you could tell I wasn't, like, 100% my usual self. But your <laughs> your soul is still in you, you know? And, like, the answers yeah. you, you give, the way I see it, they're even more genuine in my eyes. Because... Like you, you, if you're going to lie about something, you usually have to think about it for a second before you do it. Um, yeah, even course. if it's like a microsecond, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what were you going to say? Were you going to say something? No, I just said, yeah, of course. Cause like, I feel like the, the smoking a lot, maybe like, I'm not a doctor, you know, but maybe, maybe it, it affects his, his being sober as well. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not a psychiatrist or doctor or any of that bullshit. But basically all I'm saying is that like in my experience, even like when I'm high, I typically give um more honest answers, I feel. And I'm yeah. more open. Um, especially if I'm talking to somebody that I don't know very well, which in your case, dude, like I mean, you guys aren't the best of friends. Like you aren't anywhere near me and John, um, when it comes to yeah. like your relationship with Dylan. So I mean, the fact that he would give you answers like that, I mean, it's kind of questionable because, I don't know, it, it seems a little questionable to me. Um, I mean, there always is, I mean, given what I just said, like, he could be a little more vague with you because he doesn't know you. But again, it shouldn't matter, though, in my eyes, because if, yeah. if you're, even if you're a complete stranger giving someone else, like, genuine advice, like a boss to an employee... You still want to acknowledge and um, at least let the person know that you understand what they're saying and hope that they do better for themselves. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much my thing. Um, but anyway, moving on with topic or with that topic, um, I wanted to get into – let me see what the next question was. So just to not – you know, completely bash Dylan. Cause again, this whole thing isn't to bash him. It's just to kind of get in the mind. Like it's for me to get into your head on how you feel towards Dylan or yeah. Lester, however you want to call him. So just to get on a more mm -hmm. positive thing. Um, cause we were just talking about negatives. I want you to say something positive about him. Like what's your favorite part about Lester? Um, or one of them, it doesn't need to be like, you know, the greatest thing of all time. And it doesn't need to be something significant, just something that you appreciate of Lester or that you see in him. Mm. And take your time. No rush. <laughs> Thinking though, like I could say, uh, maybe if you like, Oh yeah, I got it. Like if he's enjoying something, right. A game, for example, he really gets like, he really gets into it. For example, when he's playing a game that he likes, you'll actually see genuine joy. Like, he's, he's going to be actually happy, not like, Haha, I'm laughing. He's going to be happy. The dude is going to have fun, and his day is going to be his day is gonna be totally fine. Like, the dude doesn't need much to be happy. Yeah, yeah. And even if he's not happy, but he does like a game, he'll really open up with emotion. Like, yeah. if he plays, um, like, for instance, Mario Party, that's one game that we would play a lot. He loves Mario Party and he loves Mario games in general. I mean, I don't know about Mario games in general, but he loves Nintendo. And when we play, yeah. even when he's pissed off that he's losing, you can tell that he means, it, you know, <laughs> he's not faking shit. Like if he rages, he'll rage. Or like with Fall Guys, like if he does really fucking good, then he'll be so fucking happy about it. He'll do a song and dance. But if he dies, which I don't, I don't blame you for raging. I rage too. Then you can tell he's raging with the game, you know. And he, but, yeah. but what I'm basically saying is, if he likes a game, he has a totally different reaction to it versus a game he doesn't like. Now I just mentioned Fall Guys yeah. and um, Mario Party, but 
if you compare that with when he plays Rainbow Six Siege, then you can just tell by the way um, he acts that he already doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to play that game. And in my opinion, he doesn't really want to give it that much of a chance. But um, yeah. that's that's more of like a me kind of opinion. Like, I don't know if you feel the same way. But my whole point, though, is you can just tell if he's invested in a game or not, or even trying to invest in it. Um, that's yeah. my whole point. But that's a really good thing. Um, I, de- I definitely think that most people will agree with you. And when he does get invested with a game, I would say that definitely is a really good side of him that most people can enjoy because it just really shows why people like him and, you know, that a lot of people care about him, you know, because he's a good dude yeah. in that way. So, and he's, I, I'd say he's, I'd say that side of him is something that a lot of people don't really have too often, at least when it comes to expressing themselves. He's very good mm-hmm. at showing off, um, like, his happiness or, like, his true emotion um, with s- not just stuff he likes, but even stuff he doesn't necessarily, necessarily like, I want to say. But, um, but yeah, no, I definitely agree with you on that. Now, I know we were just talking about, like, a lot of negative stuff, and this can be a very simple answer. You can just say you were just talking about it, but what's the least favorite thing about Lester in your eyes that you don't enjoy? Um, would it be just, now, now again, um, it, it could have been like, just bringing this up, maybe it's something completely different, but just taking a lucky guess, is it when he just doesn't take your advice or gives you those, you know, like, yes, no answer yeah. type of thing? There's like two big things. You just described him like one of the big things. And, um, the second thing is the dude only replies when he feels like replying and when he needs something, when you need something, he's not really the person to to be there and like to reply for you i'd say like no no hard feelings towards him right but i'm just like what i like my experience with him is when i ask him something i could wait for a whole week for example but when he needed something yeah he immediately got a reply gotcha so just to kind of elaborate on that um i mean this is one example i've seen with him is whenever he wants to talk on Discord or if he's looking for someone to play, he'll definitely hit you up when it comes to that. And his replies are usually pretty quick. But, yeah. like, in my experience, whenever I try and hit him up, I mean, for me, he's not that slow on responses, but if you compare him to, like, uh, maybe other people, like maybe some of his online friends or maybe even John, because John, the way John... Uh, DMs people, he can be a little bit irritating with how quickly he responds and how quickly he sends messages. But, like, it's not that big of a deal. But what I've noticed is that um, a lot of the times, and again, even me in some cases, if people ring him up or ask him if he wants to play a game, um, he'll usually take his sweet time to respond. Or he'll Hmm. just maybe, um, if he does respond quickly, he... Um, he may say yes, I, and I do, I gotta give him credit for this. He will say yes a lot of the time, but he really forces himself, it seems, and it doesn't seem like he wants to be there. Does that kind of seem relatable, or do you have a different perspective? Uh, no, I fully get it. I just feel what Lester is more extreme. He could take a whole week. I mean, it might be just me, you know, it might be just me, but... For example, if I would ask him on Discord if he wanted to play a game, he wouldn't reply for um, for a whole week. But then if I would send him a reel on Instagram, he would immediately reply. Yeah, I mean, it may just be you. Because again, like, I mean, for you, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to throw disrespect at you. But there are a decent amount of people that don't like you. They do find you <laughs> annoying. Yeah. And Lester, like, I'm not trying to, you know, say anything, but... I mean, Lester may feel that way, but at the same time, I don't want to say he may feel that as a fact, because I know that, and here's another reason I'm, I want, I wanted to interview you is because you and Lester, you've streamed together, like just the two of you. So he clearly cares enough about you to where he'll want to play games with you, um, and not just trying to avoid you. So, um, but yeah, your point is definitely valid and I totally get that. No, like. 
the whole thing is a lot of people don't like me because I just like I don't care if I'm your friend, I'm your enemy, whatever. I'll just say what the fuck I want, and that people like a lot of people don't like that. But then with Dylan, like exactly, we streamed by ourselves, just the two of us. Um, we talked on on Instagram or Snapchat, whatever. We always talked. He gave like I gave him advice. He sometimes talked to me. So like yeah, we have some. We have a, like decent amount of hours of talking, I'd say. But um, yeah, some things are just. Like how you say that, Dylan is Dylan, and that's what it is. And sometimes it might be a little bit weird, but it doesn't take away the fact, like we just said, he's he's still like he's a nice guy, he's he's genuine and all that. But yeah, sometimes Dylan might be a little bit confusing. Totally get you. And you know that last point you made. This actually, um, I mean, the last question in general kind of correlates to this next question I have. But given everything you just said. How do you think Lester views you, like you as a person? I'm just curious. And this, again, just your response. Whatever you want to say, I would just say it. Hmm. I think he he would have some mixed feelings because just like I said, I don't care if I'm your friend. I can still, like, if you're my friend and I, I don't like something, I'll straight up say it. And a lot of people don't know how to deal with it and they like bitch out and don't like me but then you have people like you who still like kind of respect the fact that i'm like that because like i'm i'm 100 like straight up if i don't like you i don't like you if i do like you i like you but i'll still be honest even if i don't like you that's what i'm saying with dylan like i liked him the way he was and all that but sometimes if he did something wrong or he was being a complete dickhead i would straight up just tell him and like, it's pretty much known that Dylan sometimes might be a bit offended too much by some small things. And I, I can totally, like, see if I would tell him something that he doesn't like, he, he could be offended by that. So maybe, like, I, I, I think he sees me as a friend, but I don't know. Maybe um, he just doesn't like some things I said. But again, on the other side, I gave him a lot of advice and a lot of tips to improve himself so it would be a little bit weird if he wouldn't like me since he he should be very thankful for what i did for him without being like without dick riding myself you know but still i gave him a lot of, of ideas and a lot of tips that he like i, I saved him a lot of work about thinking about who, how he could improve his life and all that he just like he heard it from me right so that saved him a lot of time in the box talking to to people like looking up online, so yeah, he he should respect that. So I feel like we're we're friends, yeah. Okay, so I want to get. So I didn't write this down, but um, I just thought of another question that's a follow up. So if he did have a problem with you, or if there was something that pissed him off, would you rather yeah. him tell you straight up? Because again, you tell people straight up how you feel, and I respect that because that's how I am. Um, I mean, it can depend on the person, like. I, it it can depend like I may use a certain tone maybe I'm I'm soft spoken with certain people and I'm more of a hard ass on mm. other people like for Dylan I would be more of a hard ass just because I've known him for so long but if he had a genuine problem with you would you rather him like be straight up about it or would you rather him take a different approach to it hmm I mean, I always like how people are just like me, for example, just to straight up, like, there's no, there's no point in bullshitting around, like, you, if you talk to someone and you have a problem with the person, you already know what the brought up, like, you already know the problem, right? So why the fuck would you bullshit around the problem if you could just straight up tell it without, like, wasting time and all your stupid explanations? So I would say, yeah, just go straight to the point and tell them what the problem is. There's a lot of time and an effort and bullshitting. Okay, so basically, just to confirm what you're saying, you would rather Dylan just, I guess, be straightforward with you, with you and yeah. tell him that he has a problem with you versus, I guess, just suppressing yeah. it inside himself. Because I feel like, just to like add up, I don't know, to add up to what question, but I can see pretty quickly what people think about me. And I, I'm pretty sure Dylan talked a lot about like behind my back and all that. And I pretty much knew it, right? But I still choose to chose to give him advice and like give him tips and all that. Which I feel is like even though I knew it, 
I still gave him like a, a honest reply and tips and, and tricks and all that. So, yeah, I mean, I'd rather have him to trade up, tell me what the problem is instead of talking behind someone's back or, or just being a complete dickhead against them. Like, yeah, just tell what your problem is and things are going to get. Okay. Yeah, I got you. To- great answer, by the way. Um, so kind of just shifting a little forward. So, um, a small question first, then my main question will follow. But whenever you guys would play, um, when yeah. you do play, can you just tell me, like, how the interaction is between you guys? Like, and I'm saying most of the time. Like, for example, is it usually, like, friendly? You guys are making jokes with each other and just trying to have a good time? Or would you say it's, like, in a, a, a totally different um, type of environment? The funny thing about it is, like, when I make a joke about Dylan, it always takes him a little while before he gets the joke. Like, he always like, huh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And then I have to, like, explain the joke. And, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. We always have fun when we play together. It's always, like, a lot of, of giggling and, and laughing and a lot of fun and all that bullshit. Like, we never really had an argument when we talked to each other. <laughs> it's more like <laughs> he might be a little bit confusing sometimes, where it's, like, if you talk to him or you make a joke, whatever, he just won't get it. So it makes a joke unfunny. But on the other hand, like on the other hand, if he would get the joke and he would actually like the joke, it would be ten times better because Dylan's life is is just funny as shit. And yeah, Dylan is a nice dude where you can have a laugh with. Okay, but I I mean okay, I get what you're saying, but so basically I guess besides whenever he maybe won't understand a joke, you guys normally have a yeah. good time. You make jokes and it's yeah, like typical yeah, yeah. friend shit, you know? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Now one more joke to follow up or not jokes. Fuck question to follow up. Um, <laughs> the jokes that you would say to him, were there ever, now you don't need to be specific with this answer, but were there any jokes that you said that you thought wouldn't be that big of a deal, but he took it, like, completely the wrong way? Yeah, a lot of things. Okay. Are you able to, um, Not I'm not saying go into full detail, but, like, is there any one particular that stands out? Yeah, this is, like, something very, like, how you say that? This is... <laughs> It's not anything special. It's like something if someone would say it against me, I just, I wouldn't even think that far. I just insulted a, a chick in a game or a dude in a game. I don't even remember. And I called it a fat chick. And Dylan was offended because I used the word fat. And I don't know what it was, but he might have linked it to himself. Um, Not to call him fat, though, but he might have no clue what it was. But he just didn't seem too happy about it. And like... So, like, I would get it right, but, I mean, for me, to me, that was just, like, a little bit too snowflake. If you're friends with each other, you should be able to make some jokes. Even though, out of my out of my point of view, it wasn't even, like, directed towards Dylan. I was just, like, making a funny joke about a game character, and he just took it the wrong way, I guess. Okay, gotcha. Um, Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but that wasn't really what... Um, I, I was asking, I'm, so I should have specified oh. a little more. So just to l- let me get into it a little bit. So one thing with me and a lot of people in the irresponsible clubhouse discord is we make fun of each other all the time, but it's never serious. Yeah. Like I make fun of John for like, you know, possibly being in a relationship with Dylan, for example, it's just a joke. And I make fun of you Lenny. You make fun of me 24 seven. So yeah, I don't we, give a shit. But, like, it's all in, we make fun of each other all the time, and it's all in good fun. For so, and like Dylan, he does the same thing too. Like, there, there was one time in high school where I was looking up steroids for a health class assignment, and then I pressed images like a dumbass, and then saw a whole bunch of dudes in a speedo. And, um, then the whole class started joking around with me, and they were like, He looks at men, he looks at men. And, like, I was a little bit annoyed at first, but then it became, like, a funny-ass meme, which even I laugh at, and I think it's funny. But my whole point, Mm. though, is it's not that serious, and I know it's not that serious. Mm. And Dylan's one of the people that would make that joke to me, okay? And that's just jokes that are thrown around in general. 
Um, and yeah, my whole point though is that everyone does it to everyone. So my question for yeah, you I mean, was, did you ever make like a joke against him that wasn't that serious? And did he take mm. it the wrong way? Not that I can remember. I mean, if you guys, like, if you can give me some time to think, I might have. Okay. Um, All right. No, that, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, mm. but, but hold on. So just because I'm running a little low on time, um, and we can always have a part two if we have to, but I would like to get into a few other questions first. So yeah. with this discuss, like with what I'm talking about, I'm sure you know of some of the memes that have gone around of like Dylan saying some stupid yeah. shit on live stream. Yeah. Um, like some of the yeah. big ones being like the Chun Li has big titties joke and um, the Lester and John are in a gay relationship joke. Stuff like that. Like yeah. you're aware of those, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's your view on those? Like whenever we make jokes on that, like do you, in your mind, do you think that those jokes are too far or would dude, you say I've, that those yeah. are just friends being friends and just fucking around with each other? Dude, I've got roasted for fucking two years straight by you guys and I'm, I'm still alive happily. I don't give a shit. Like if it would happen to me, for example, <laughs> I mean, I get not everyone who's just like me, but I got called, I don't know if I can say it on, on recording, but I got called a terrorist 20 million times a goat fucker 20 million times i don't give a shit right like a lot of people thought i was fucking if i made some gay fucking um if i said something really gay you guys would make fun of it like those things happened to me as well i got I mean, still today oh you cut out there you, uh you cut out uh can you say like the last sentence again um, I said, like, you guys even, like, I got fucking catfished by a pewter by female Snapchat filter, right? And it's still a meme by me. today. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, dude. I still <laughs> don't give a shit. Like, those things happen to me as well. They happen to Lenny, to me, to everyone. Yeah, and the me definitely and as well. Dylan just, I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't really, like, compare two things with each other, but Dylan only got roasted a bit of time right we didn't even make a lot of jokes about him i can guarantee you if if we would go back like in the history of of our friendship and like the server and all that i got roasted at least 20 times the amount of he did and like i don't really take it to like i don't really take it to the heart again not everyone is like me but still i, I mean i wouldn't be um uh, i wouldn't be um offended but he was so yeah, to come back at your question, I think he was a little bit too too offended by some of the jokes you guys made because they were quite funny and everyone had him against them. Everyone got joked about, like, it's not that big of a big deal because he knows who we are. He knows you guys. We always make those jokes. He laughs with them, so I don't really get the, the big deal. Gotcha, yeah. And, I mean, it's one thing if if you make those jokes and it's not even that big of a deal. Okay. And it's totally another thing if you make those jokes, but they're meant to be malicious, which just so we're clear again, it's not meant to be malicious. It's just a bunch yeah. of friends having fun, you know, but there to add a third, um, you know, to add a third say in this, it's a totally different thing. Again, if you make these jokes and you're actually offended, but you don't say anything about it. Like, I mean, look, here's the thing. If you, if you, um, if I made a joke or whatever and you were offended by it, yeah, if I, you were I would to just say it. I would just say, dude, fuck you. Well, look, look, if you were offended by it or if you, if you ask me not to make those kind of jokes anymore, yeah. then I'll most likely just stop. Okay. I'll most likely just stop and <laughs> yeah, end it there. Likely, yeah. But for me, in my experience with Dylan, he's never drawn a line. He's never really been that, you know, he's never really given proper communication on where the line draws. So, like, that's that's what I was going to ask you next. Like, um, if can, I, ever... can I add up something to what you said? Yeah, of course. So what you were saying with um, he doesn't really say if he doesn't like it. Well, 
to add up to that is if you don't like jokes like if if you don't like people making jokes about you then that's all right right but the thing with dylan is he also made jokes about other people which is like just asking for it right like if you don't like people doing it to you don't do it to other people like it's not that big of a deal because roasting each other as friends is just healthy like it, it should be there right but he also made those jokes about me you dylan uh me you john lenny whatever every person he laughed with the jokes as well but when it went about him he didn't even complain but now looking back at it apparently he had a big problem with it and now he's mad at us because we made those jokes but he never told anyone he didn't like them so i mean i'm not a dog i can't sniff if he didn't like something yeah i gotcha and just to so i'm i'm not going to go too into this because this is this is actually relating to the to someone else i'm going to be interviewing but just to add on because this whole thing is a big fucking load of hypocrisy in my view there was you know yeah. how we but you, anyway you know how like we make jokes about john and lester being like a couple yeah a couple well well listen so this took place back in high school but that whole joke with those two he literally made fun of two other people which were we're still fr like i'm still friends with i don't know about him but he ma made like a whole bunch of gay jokes, kept saying these two were in a relationship when they weren't. And I'm not going to lie, I did too. But these two dudes, they didn't, I mean, like they would give us the middle finger or whatever, but we were all friends at the end of the day and they did not give yeah. a shit and would roast us back. But Dylan participated in that too. But it seems like if somebody, like you said, does the same thing back to him, then he takes it personal. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get that. And I, re I really don't like when people do that. Yeah, I yeah, it, it's just hypocrisy, but Yeah. Anyway, I'm but I'm getting a little low on time, so I'm just going to ask you a couple more questions that are a little That's bit right. that that are more different, okay? More different. So, yeah. something that um Dylan did very recently, which really ties into this whole discussion that we had, was he was throwing some shade at me. And basically saying that my content on YouTube was hateful. Now, I need to ask you of your opinion. I know you don't watch all of my videos, but the only hateful content... I just content, don't have time, dude. I would. I just don't have time. No, no. It, it's all good. I, like, I get it. Everyone has a life. But the most hateful stuff I have on my channel relate to me just making fun of people. Not in a serious light either. Just making fun of stupid people like my previous coworker and like yeah. just, just people doing stupid things and even myself being stupid. Okay. And he's called my content hateful. Okay. And I want to ask you, do you consider that no. for yourself? Cause you've been with me in videos before and in live streams when we would make fun of people. Like, would you consider yeah. that hateful or would you consider that just ha having fun on the internet and then just going about your day? Look, let me ask you something. Is your channel banned? No. No. No, it's not right. YouTube or Snowflakes. If your content would be hateful, it would already be down, right? So it's not hateful at all. And Dylan was also the person that would like jokes about other people. For example, your coworker, whatever. He always laughed with it. But now, looking back at it, when it was about him, he didn't like it. Things you're saying on the internet are just, they're all jokes, right? If, if that content is hateful, Keemstar should be just fucking deleted off the internet. And still, he's on, like, your content, I mean, to me, right, again, not everyone is like me, but the fact that your channel is not banned yet, and YouTube are a bunch of snowflakes, you're not, like, it's, it's not hateful to me, right? If it's up, it's up for a reason. If it's down, it's down for a reason. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the worst that's ever happened, like, the only... The only time I've even gotten in trouble is when I posted this clip, which it was entire bullshit in my eyes, but it was basically these two black chicks fighting and I edited it so I had YouTube's head on the person that got the shit beat out of them and the other person <laughs> had um, a YouTube icon on it because at the time so a channel was being harassed for no fucking reason and YouTube was to blame for it and I was... I was pissed off, so I decided to make a video trolling YouTube, and I got a strike for it, which has gone away now, but 
that's like the only time I've ever gotten in trouble. And that was, it really wasn't that bad because the clip I used was everywhere. But because I was openly mocking YouTube, I'm pretty sure that's why I got a strike. But that's probably the worst thing I've ever posted. Like, I don't think, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, this is a whole different conversation. I'll talk about this, like, off interview because I have my own segment to say about it. But that's really the most harmful shit I've had. And if I'm wrong, like, I hope that at the time of this vi the video going up that someone can correct me if I'm wrong because I'm open to criticism. Yeah. I got no problem for it. But that's really the worst shit that's on my channel, honestly. So, but <laughs> yeah, um, I get that. But, but like the whole, but the whole calling my channel content hateful when you're the one laughing at the stuff you consider hateful is just fucking hypocritical shit in my eyes. That's, that's the way I see it. So anyway, um, I have one last question for you cause I got to go. I'm already like running over my time and I might get in trouble going back to work, but this is the last question. So I don't really give a shit. Okay. So, this last question isn't related to Dylan. This relates to me, okay? Because this whole video is going to be mainly about me and Dylan. But I want your opinion on me. So, here's my question for you. What's your opinion on me? And if there's any flaws or anything that you feel I could improve, you, you're, you can say it. And if there's anything good, you can also say that as well. To be fair, like... um. There's like a, a saying what means friends come and go once in a while. But to be fair, me and Chris, we stick like we've known each other for a quite a long time. I'm only like 18 years old and keeping friends for I don't know how long we've been friends, but say almost two and a half years, almost three years. I think it's right? been more. I think it's been since 2020, honestly. That's what I'm saying. That long of a friendship. I mean. The reason why I'm keeping it is because it's something nice. Like, if I wouldn't like Crush, if I wouldn't like the way he was, I wouldn't take, like, a, a hard friendship through the internet. We don't talk every day. That's all right. We still, like, when we talk, we're bros as good as we were before. Like, it's whatever. We sometimes have beef. That's it. Things happen. But, like, nothing, like, I don't really have any bad things to say about Crush. Like, we've been friends for a long time. We always have a lot. We have the same humor. Same music. Um, things you could improve on. I don't really know what to say um, on the first look. Mm, I, um, I don't really get it. Real, real we're, like, we're always good. Uh, so, real quick. I mean, one thing I will definitely open up and say that I would like, I'll fully admit to this is sometimes, like, I've been in bad moods and I try and make sure that I don't talk to people when I'm in a bad mood, but. Sometimes when I am in a bad mood, I can say stuff that I really will regret later on. And there was one thing I told you um, that I really fucking regret. And it was basically like me saying I purposely ignore you, which isn't true. Like, I am i don't look at Discord all the time. And I said that once because I was in a really bad mood because some shit was going down. And I really regret saying that. That's one thing I'll definitely admit to. Um, cause I'm not yeah. perfect. Like nobody's perfect and shit happens sometimes. That's why, you know? my, that's why my name is nobody, dude. Yeah. But I mean, we've, but like, and <laughs> this is another reason I wanted you on. Cause like our friendship personally hasn't been perfect. I wouldn't say it's bad and by any means, but I'm just saying like, we've had like our differences here and there. And sometimes it's looked really bad, but I mean, I still consider you a friend though. Like even if I you know, I don't see your messages if I miss your calls sometimes. Because I got my own shit, yeah. you got your own shit. But it's never that deep, though, you know? Yeah. Still, like, if I need someone to talk to, like, I just hit you up all the way around as well. Like, if you need help or if you need advice, like, you, you text me, I text you. That's whatever. And, like, you're saying about the thing you regret. To be fair, I respect you for saying sorry for that. But I didn't even know you said it. So, yeah. Oh, well, now you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dickhead. So, I am a dickhead. I will fully yeah. admit to that. But anyway, right, anyway, though, I gotta go. I've, I, my lunch yeah. break is an hour. I've, I'm on an, one hour and 15 minutes, so my boss might kick my ass. <laughs> so, 
Um, I appreciate you getting on a call, and um, like I said, um, the, the video won't be done until at least later this week, and I'm definitely going to have parts of this, but if there's anything you don't want in it that we discuss, then just let me know. I got you. But, um, it is all right, dude. But yeah, I appreciate your time, dude, and um, this this is really, this is, I, I just appreciate you being genuine with your responses, and I, I really appreciate yeah. more than anything, like, being very fair to Dylan because there's some like the reason I'm choosing specific people like I could choose Val but Val number one hasn't known him for that long and she's very biased like she does not like him and I don't want him just getting shitted on I want like good stuff being on there too you know yeah. like I don't want this to just be like let's tell every dirty secret that Dylan's ever done I don't want that to happen no. so I appreciate you being very sincere with your responses and yeah i couldn't have asked for any more and um yeah i'm i'm gonna just end it here so thank you again for your time dude i really appreciate it all right i got a nice time at work see you around okay see ya